In this section of our short game by design, I want to talk about what Mo called the Rockway move. He actually had a little pitch shot that he would call the Rockway move, and really nobody really understood what that meant, but I want to describe it to you and describe a couple of things to look at when you talk about that. Mo used to come up and say, I'm going to hit my Rockway move, my Rockway shot. Well, Rockway was the golf course that Mo grew up on, so we practiced a lot. It was a little short golf course up in, up in Canada, up in Ontario, Canada. And um, Mo, and the thing about the golf course, it had basically a lot of spots in the golf course was no lie. It was dead grass. It was hard pan. So, I mean, it was a, it was a municipal course that a lot of people played that um, they had some water, they didn't have some water, and it was in, in tough shape sometimes. Like a lot of the municipal places, we municipal courses, we still play today. Well, Mo called it the Rockway move. And what he meant by that was, if you had a shot on a very tight lie, okay, and you're trying to hit a pitch type shot, there's a couple of things you've got to exaggerate. Okay? And what Mo would do, and when he called, meant his Rockway move, is the first thing he'd do is when he hit the shot, he'd make sure to keep that back foot down. He'd literally keep it on the ground. And the reason he'd do that is because when you sit up over a pitch shot, and remember a pitch shot's going to be basically the ball's going to be in the middle of the stance, so we can still get a little height in the shot. Okay? We're going to have a slightly open lower body. Okay? Our shoulders are going to be square to the target. Okay? We're going to get our hands leading, club face square and our hands leading. Okay, now what Mo would exaggerate in his Rockway move is he'd make impact with the foot down. And the reason why he'd do that is he didn't want to laterally slide too far ahead of the shot and then hit the ball thin or potentially hit it heavy if he cast it, but most of the time it hit it thin. So what he'd do is he'd work diligently at keeping this foot down. Okay, so he'd set up, he'd set up over the pitch, he'd hit the pitch type shot, and he'd actually keep the foot down. Okay, he hit it perfect and he hit some great shots, obviously keeping that foot down. Well, what keeping that foot down did was it kept him from sliding ahead of the golf ball. Because remember, what we're doing here is when we set up over the shot, okay, we're going to make impact with our shoulders in this position. So basically impact where our shoulders started at setup. Now, the trail shoulder will drop slightly, but you're making impact in this position. If your head moves forward, if your foot comes up, your shoulders will shift forward. As those shift, shoulders shift forward, the bottom of your plane is gonna shift forward, or basically your impact position. Well, the problem with that is you can hit a thin shot, you can hit a heavy shot. It's very hard to hit that shot, especially off tight lies. Now, if you're in the rough, if you're in deep grass, even in a bunker, you'll get away with it because you got a little forgiveness below the ball. On a tight grass shot, like a rockway lie or a tight lie, you're not gonna go get away with that shot. And then, the other thing he'd do to exaggerate is he'd keep his head down, he'd keep it still. Because the other thing that can happen is if you, now, this is called peaking, but basically, if you move your head up, you can pull the shoulders up with it on the shot. So Mo wanted to keep everything down in at impact and compact at impact. That's what he's trying to do. So when he described the Rockway shot, he was always talking about his foot and his head. And he would actually exaggerate his head. And I'll hit a perfect, I'll hit exactly what he did here. He'd set up over the shot, and he'd keep his head still, keep his foot down. Then he'd look up at the shot. That was the Rockway shot, okay? I always see my spot. I don't even want to see the ball in the air. There you go. Nice. Nicely done. That's the Rockway move. The rock, the, why, what do you, why do you call it the Rockway move? Yeah, that's the Rockway move. What, what does that mean? Get it, stay on the right foot longer and hit it straight up in the air. Why do you call it the Rockway move? Because that's the only shot that would hold the greens where he learned to play. Huh. They were so hard. Oh, the greens were so hard? Oh, they were murder. The Rockway move. So again, a Rockway shot is a shot that we're going to hit off really hard pan type lie. And the main focus here is we're going to hit a pitch type move, we're going to hit a pitch type shot, but we're going to keep that back foot down and we're going to keep our head very still. We're going to do that so we don't laterally slide forward. So, but learn that shot, have fun with that shot, you can play that shot all, all over the golf courses you have when you have hard pan or real tight lies, you can have fun with that and it'll greatly improve your scoring and greatly improve your game.